This is the daily reflection for Saturday the 20th of February for the online Lent calendar by the Chorley and Leyland Methodists. This week, our reflections so far have been thinking about God's covenant love, the promise he made to Noah, the covenant he made with Abraham, and the covenant of the heart shared through Jeremiah. Today, we're gonna to look at the next step of the covenant journey, with Jesus bringing about a totally new covenant. And the reading is from Hebrews chapter eight, reading from verse five. They, the earthly priests, serve at a sanctuary, which is a copy and shadow of what is in heaven. This is why Moses was warned when he was about to build the tabernacle. See to it that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. But in fact, the ministry Jesus has received is as superior to theirs as the covenant of which he is mediator is superior to the old one, since the new covenant is established on better promises. For if there had been nothing wrong with that first covenant, no place would have been sought for another. And then verse 13, by calling this covenant new, he has made the first one obsolete. And what is obsolete and outdated will soon disappear. Now that's quite a tough passage for us to get our heads around. So let's see if I can make it a little bit clearer. When I turned my computer on yesterday morning, I saw the message which drives fear into my heart. The message that says, new updates available. How do you feel when you see that message on your computer or phone or tablet? The last time it appeared, I thought, oh, let's just get on with it. And so I pressed update immediately. What I didn't realise was this update was going to take two hours to process. And I had a Zoom meeting scheduled for about 45 minutes time. Updates can be inconvenient. They take time. You can't do anything while you're waiting. Everything is out of action. And you never quite know what will have changed once it is updated. Things often look different and work differently. So updates can feel like a bit of a pain. But they're there for a good reason. The companies release updates when they find a, a solution to a previous glitch. When they come up with a, a more secure way of protecting us and our devices. When they come up with a better way for a system to work. So updates are for our benefit to make things better for us. Jesus was an update to a previous system. The previous system of religion was based on God's covenant with Abraham and ruled by law and sacrifice. So you must obey the law and the many, many rules set. And if you didn't, then there were sacrifices that needed to be made. But the people of Israel, God's family, God's chosen people, had disobeyed the rules and abused the rules so badly that the system was in a mess. There were all sorts of glitches. And so God sent an update in Jesus, a new covenant, a new way based on love. No longer was it all about obeying rules. It was about loving God, loving one another and accepting God's love for us. The love of God which wouldn't abandon his children even though they were in a mess. The love that provided a way out, a new way to live in relationship with him. We can often be sceptical about new updated things and so too were the Jews. They weren't sure about this Jesus character but God sent him to help us, to save us, to protect us, to make things better for us. He sent Jesus in order to keep that special covenant relationship going, where we are dedicated to God, but more importantly, where God is dedicated to us. And I think sometimes we beat ourselves up about obeying God's rules. We feel that God can't possibly love us because we've done this or that in the past, or we've broken this or that rule. Not saying that God doesn't care when we get it wrong but it's no longer about punishment and sacrifice that was the old version in the new version 
God sent Jesus to bring us forgiveness, true and complete forgiveness for anything, absolutely anything that we've done. God will forgive if only we talk to him about it. I believe that God's biggest concerns when we get it wrong are not about punishment, but about helping us to realise that we've got it wrong, about encouraging us to turn back to him and then restoring that relationship with us, allowing us to know his compassion and forgiveness and wanting us to know that he is committed to us. Even when we get it wrong, God is committed to us in our covenantal relationship. So just two things for us to reflect upon today. Firstly, what might we need to do this Lent to update our relationship with God? What do we need to share with him or talk to him about? And then the second thing, what updates do we need to make to our lives in order to truly live in God's covenantal love?